Yo, 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 YouTube was in and was in it. It's your boy, Frank Nitty. And we back with another video, yeah. And we just checking in, you know. It's been a couple of days or whatever like that, you know. But if you go back to my previous videos, you can see what I've been doing as far as, uh, you know, I've been trying to give y'all the update on the bike Chevy. Um, the bike Chevy right now is, is out of the shop. The dude said he had to get a couple more bolts, you know, for my bumper or whatever like that. The Peterbilt. You know, we still putting it together slowly, but for sure, you know, she gonna be in there in a little bit. The yard with USA, they supposed to be moving the shop. So, wherever they gonna move it, that's gonna have to move the truck. I'm just probably just gonna drop it out back at Peterbilt and have them to finish up everything they got doing. The only reason I didn't want to take it back um, out there to Peterbilt is because they charge so much, like... Peterbilt is expensive. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I know somebody had asked me, like, bro, how you put twenty-five thousand dollars in that truck? And the thing is, like, with the rebuild on that engine, the transmission, you know, them having to do a little work here and there to the axles, the ECMs and put everything together. Hey man, plus they label, it just came up, you know. They 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 gonna hit you, they gonna hit you. But I just want to run across, you know, I, I've been doing some numbers. When I come to y'all with these videos, it don't just be me. You know what I'm saying? I, I speak on other drivers that that um, that come over here because of my videos. And I do apologize to some of these drivers at times. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be a man about what I say by my word. I'm not going to lie to nobody. Or whatever like that if you ask me a question before and i give you an answer that's exactly what it was it wasn't no if you know me you know it's not me beating around no bush the drivers ask me all the time hey man what's going on with usa what's going on with the low board you know you got you got people that can barely make it at this point can't nobody really figure it out you know it ain't like our truck payments really high you know some of us got our trucks from tail so you're going to be paying about six to $800 a week for a truck. Some people went to SFI or whatever like that. Now that I just spoke on SFI. If you come to USA, get you a truck from SFI. Reason being is, even though your truck might be $1,200, 1300 $1,400 a week, if you're not making money with USA, you can easily take your truck over to a different company where they're actually making decent money. For example, I know a lot of dudes that came, got a truck from uh, SFI, paid a little $2,000, $3,000, moved a truck, you know, over to um, Mercer, Landstar, you know, all these different little companies, you know, mom and pops, and they actually getting paid a decent amount of bread. Frank, why you still here? It's still people that came over here because of me, and I kind of didn't want to be the one to just be like, Oh, I'm out the door. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to figure it out on your own. Just like I say, I'm going to drive it like everybody else. If you took my word, even though we all grown, even if you took my word and you follow, you know, what what I had going on, I'm not, I'm not the type to leave you hanging, you know. But like I tell people, what worked for me might not work for you. You know, um, $2,000 to some people might seem like money. To me, that ain't no money. 3000 might seem like some money. To me, that ain't no money. You know what I'm saying? So, the way I make, you know, certain things work for me is I came in, created a strategy that I didn't even think was going to work, and it ended up working. You know what I'm saying? Starting out with USA, it, it was pretty decent, you know. But I think it's time to definitely make that exit, you know. Reason being is, I don't like the feeling. I don't like the feeling. Like you got, you got. I got drivers. You know that people that have came over here, they watched my channel. They was doing good. Now all of a sudden the USA hit with the all inclusive rates, and you technically you not you not running for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Some drivers over here they can say, yeah, bro, I, I make good money every week. I can take home four or five thousand. Okay, that's cool, but the, the the name of the game is less miles, more money. 
You know, we paying for these trucks, you getting paid a percentage. There's no reason you should be doing 3,000 miles, taking home four or $5,000. Yeah, that's pointless. You know, I was running, you know, 3,000, 3,800 miles when I was with US Express, taking home 25, 3,000. So why would I be over here getting paid a percentage doing the same thing, you know? And this supposed to be a better opportunity. Just like, for example, I rolled down a couple of these so that you can see that I'm not just talking on my ass. Me and a couple of drivers, we don't knock the numbers down. Every time you turn around and try to talk, it's like, don't nobody want to hear you out. You know what I'm saying? My number one thing is if this many people don't put me down as a referral and I'm saying something, listen to what your drivers are saying. Like, but now it's to the point where they will tell you they not listening to nothing you talking about. A dude, um, Brandon Bridges got on the conference call and basically it was like, USA, like exactly the way they got everything going. Nothing is going to change. So you mean to tell me if you got a lot of your drivers leaving, quitting, telling you what the problem is and you still not, the only reason they operate that way is because you got a lot of these company dudes that's try to do this. And they think a little thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars is some money. If you paying for all this stuff, you know, as far as truck, insurances, fuel, all of it, you know what I'm saying? It, it, you shouldn't be. You can go be a company driver. You're gonna do that. And all right, when it comes to the fuel, fifteen, we get out fifteen cents a gallon. Okay. Now we know good damn well it ain't no fifteen cents a gallon. Like, that don't even make sense. It, as high as fuel is right now, that's all we can get is 15 cents a gallon. Another thing I peeped off. Now that the fuel is high, we getting better fuel surcharges. But at the same time, the rates on the loads are dropping. So it's almost like they're replacing the rate on the load for the fuel. No, we can have the same rates plus the extra fuel surcharge. You might get some well, but you can't take the money from the load. And that was stated by one of the administrators, Brandon Bridges, once again. He said, if we increase the fuel surcharge, we have to take money off of the rates. They increasing the, they increasing the fuel surcharge because I ain't never seen fuel surcharges like this. But the rates are dropping. So they doing just that. So either way it go, they going to get their money. They had the highest gross revenue last year. But that's when drivers start having a problem. Y'all cutting us from money. Y'all taking this. Y'all taking that. That's the only way y'all going to get the revenue. Because your IC side is making all of your profit. It's not your company side. I do say when he first got here, when I first got here, it was only 80 some ICs. We had 600 and some ICs after I got here. And then now you got so many ICs that don't lift. That don't mean more lows. That just mean more BSing. Let's break down a couple numbers since I wrote it down. So look. One load that I, you know, I'm, I'm, I say that for another video. But this load, McDonald, Georgia, to Columbus, Ohio, paid twelve sixteen, one thousand two hundred sixteen dollars and sixty cent. Follow me. The fuel surcharge was three hundred fourteen dollars and eighty eight cent. Normally on that load, you'll be getting about sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars off of that load for five hundred and sixty-four miles. So you take the fuel, you take, you drop the rate, put it into the fuel, and you're still making the same thing. Hold on, sixty-five percent of that twelve sixteen is seven ninety, uh, seven hundred and ninety dollars and seventy-nine cents. To run that load with 15 cents off a gallon, 
you for 560 miles the load was 29,000 pounds took 90 gallons that's 450 dollars because you're getting five dollars a gallon once you take your 790 dollars and 79 cent that's your 65 percent plus your fuel surcharge $314.88. Add that together. Subtract your fuel. $450. You're going to come down and then you're going to divide your net by that 564, that 564 miles. That's not including the empty if you did. So 564 uh, divided by 564 miles. I made $1.96 off of that one load some might feel like hey that, that's great it's 2022 everything unchanged two dollars is damn near bottom of the barrel all right let, let's keep it moving keep it moving columbus ohio to columbus georgia two thousand and sixteen dollars for 638 miles all right, your 65%, $1,310.40. All right, take that. Subtract the $550 because you need 110 gallons of fuel on a 39,000-pound load. Then divide it by 638 miles. We're not talking about the deadhead miles because we're not, we're not deadhead in fall this week. Take that. And divide and divided by 638 miles, you come down to a dollar 19 cent a mile. But some people say, Oh, go for the money, go for the money. Over here is not all about the money. If you're not strategizing it right, then you're gonna end up running a dollar a mile by the end of your week. So it was like, yeah, yeah bro, I got two thousand on load. I got $1,900 load. I got $2,500 load. But the thing is this. The miles, though. You got to check the miles out. Because if the miles ain't right, you don't want to be running nothing under $2 a mile. But over here, peep this one out. Can, Ohio to Hammond, Indiana. $864. Your 65% it's $561.69. This load got three stops on it. 372 miles. Off of that, $300 in fuel for 60 gallons. Once you take your 65%, subtract your fuel, divided by the 372 miles, you come down to 70 cent a mile. I don't think you can survive off that. That's just my personal opinion. And like I say, I'm, I'm going to keep it a thousand at all times. You can't you you can't make it. So for people that's like, hey, yeah, hey, bro, I'm waiting on a truck. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Bro, if you're going to get a truck, you probably better off, you know, they got so many lease options at different places where you could take your truck anywhere. If you come over here, get your truck with SFI, run for about a month, move your truck, do it like that. Because I'm, I refuse to keep getting on here. And I'm seeing what's going on right before my eyes. And then just be like, oh, yeah, do this, do that. Hey, bro, don't say a certain kind of thing because this ain't no defama uh, defamation of character, no none of that. It's just being real. Being real, like you're gonna continue to shit drivers that's moving the world. So don't nobody give a damn as long as your pack is getting full. And my thing, like I said once again, I don't speak exactly just for me. This is for people that come to me, people that talk to me, drivers that I came over here before uh because of me, drivers that been over here before me that got questions. I don't have all the answers, but at the same time, if you know better, you do better. If you can't invest into yourself and move in a different path 
with a certain foundation, why continue to do it? If you're working on something that it ain't benefiting you, why continue to do it? If you know what the end result is going to be, why continue to do it? If you have to go out and get loans and do this and do that just to move a truck, why continue to do it? You're supposed to be making that money anyway. If you leasing a truck and you on the road all week, why is it so hard to take home $2,000? Why should you even be seeing a two thousand dollar check? Don't make it don't make sense to me. You know what I'm saying? If you want to part two of this video, just let me know. Please like, share, subscribe, all that. I'm about to get ready to lay it down. I'm about to catch up with you on the next one. Yeah.